Jay, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Hello, everybody. So this is part two. The universe gave us a chance to have another chat because the recording quality wasn't so great on the first one. So thank you so much for taking the time out to share this conversation with me again. Oh, it's 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 all good. I actually had a lot of fun um with you on the first conversation. So this is great. And 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 just just speaking on all this, you know, the these subject matters is 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 really important um these days right now. So I found you um on Telegram. I think it was um Mia from Mercado Sagrado. She reposts you a lot and I think that's how I found you. And you're my favorite account on Telegram. Um Thanks. I try and keep off social media um as much as possible but i just basically feel like i get my news from house and habit on instagram and you on telegram and that's that's all the news i need nowadays. <laughs> yeah instagram then, is actually uh, uh, i'm just gonna say that instagram i um i get a lot of like uh cooking recipes <laughs> on instagram these days it's great for that <laughs> right right um so, yeah, I think in our first conversation, what really struck me is uh, the reason I love to follow you is because you bring everything together and you basically cover every topic that I'm interested in at the moment, you know, from diet and health to free energy to, you know, what's going on with the fall of the deep state and all these things. And I think, you know, when we spoke the first time, you were saying to you, it's just obvious that they all connect. But I think to a lot of people, it's not obvious all those connections. So I love how you just really see everything in this very holistic way yeah it i i think it's very necessary because um like everything is converging you know like like the timelines are all everything is merging and you know you got you you, you there's a lot of military guys that are talking about ascension and healing and um you know the 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 the, the cosmic woo woo subject matters you know and then and then and then there's like the spiritual or, or the new age community they're talking about like hey uh or, and even the normies these days you know normies just you know people that are like just really connected to to the matrix and you know just everyday you know life um, in the corporate world, um, are like, hey, I, th there's something weird going on, you know. I, you know, I, I heard there's like a, a, you know, this military global operation and and this and you know, there's there's pedophiles running, you know, running the world and you know, there's there's military groups and that are like taking these elites down, and, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's it's uh it's really wonderful to um to see all that, you know, just, you know, all, all of this is part of the, 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 the great awakening. Right. And, and, um, so for, um, um, and a lot of people have awakened in certain areas only, you know, there's a lot of say like the MAGA folks, they, they knew how corrupt, you know, Washington DC is, um, but they didn't understand, you know, um, the satanic energy that was in the foods that they ate, um and and um and uh maybe like the the entertainment or like the entertainment you know some people realize that oh man hollywood and, and this entertainment is very satanic but they didn't really know anything about the political realm or the military world and and uh and everything and then you know so so um you know the the finance world is 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 far away from like the yoga world you know and and uh and the ufo world is you know far away from the anons or or the flat earthers or you know like like all these things and and i think they're all relevant to each other you know i mean back to like we're all connected everything is one so all of this is um relatively connected some way somehow um these subject matters and um and then how everything is you know when you look at it from like just i guess bird's eyes view or you know just just a higher vantage point you know to see that they it is all connected and it is all somehow relative and it does affect one another so just having like just trying to break down what that map look like there's there's a guy named um dylan oh i forgot his last name dylan morris or morin um anyways his name is dylan for sure 
Um, he did the deep state mapping project. He did the maps and he came out with these maps like in 2017 and like they're like brilliant maps i mean like they're like just everything you know now whether or not everything is true or not um you know that's that's basically up to the to to the reader to decide or, or to the viewer um but he literally threw everything he's done multiple maps from the healing one to a COVID one and he's done some recent ones like nacero jacero um and and um, they're great maps. They look they look really good. Um, and it takes a lot of time. You know, I'm I'm a, I'm a designer myself, and I, I can tell that it's it, it's a lot of research and time put into um, you know each map, and um, and it covers it. Um, I think you can go to like deepstatemappingproject.com or just you know search it to to even find. I have no connection to him whatsoever. I don't even know him personally and stuff, but I just. I know who he is and I know like, you know, what type of work he's done. And, and, he, but my point in, in saying this is he like lists everything and it just, it just connects like all the dots. And, and that's one of the things that when I saw um, is that it, it does need to talk, it does need to be talked about and how things connect from one area to another area. Um, and, um, and, uh, and, and to have, full awareness like the like the vast awareness of it so you can see how um how where the traps and the lies and the the distortions and the manipulations um were 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 set in that you know and then you know we realized like you know like everything has been manipulated everything has been lies including like you know like like they they'll offer you they'll create the the, the problem then you know offer you the solution which is you know another psyop you know and and then um you know uh well it's, it's it's problem reaction then solution and and they play this at you know at at every genre every every area every country every race whatever whatever we uh, uh we as humans identify with there was a psyop in there un under that label you know. <laughs> so they give you two options, which is the illusion of choice, right? Because you think, oh, are we choosing left yeah. or right? <laughs> you're giving you those yeah, two and then, yeah, and you're eating out of the, you know what I mean? Like the same, um, you know, the same two hands, you know what I mean? Like, and um, so, so we have to, you know, we have to really like be able to like discern or, or see past the psyops and the traps, and then we can formulate, then we can actually like, create a real solution, you know, within ourselves now, you know what I mean? And not just, hey, you know what I mean? Like, oh, there's, oh, there's COVID. So here's the, you know, your shots and your your mask. And you know, these are the rules you should follow. You know what I mean? Like we've learned that now. Can you tell us about your awakening journey? Did you know from a young age that you were here to do something different? And how was that 2020 period for you? And then what led you to set up the Telegram channel? Um, okay. Um, well, um, um, <laughs> uh, I, I did knew when I was a kid now, you know, you get, you get brainwashed, you know, the indoctrination, I mean, it comes in hard and then from peers and, you know, peer pressure to pop culture and then to, um, trying to thrive in, um, you know, you, you know, making your parents proud, right. You know, like, like one, a uh, success, entrepreneurship so um and i did thrive i i uh i did pretty well in in uh in the matrix my background was a um a designer and um and i was in cannabis so i i still did did what i love and i i didn't have like you know the corporate job i was you know like when i say i was in the cannabis industry you know um just 10 years ago or you know maybe like 20 years ago you would call that um drug dealing <laughs> you know what i mean so i was i was kind of like always on the borderline of like um and i was never really part of like the whole corporate thing although cannabis is very corporate these days um which is why i'm out of it um but anyways um so i i i did pretty well and um my awakening came really around like 2012 and and, and it came really like around after the the fur uh, uh the crash of the economy in, in 2008 it was just that was like start of the decline when 
I had a lot of great things going on in the matrix for myself and, and, um, and just watching all of that, just, just, you know, like twin tower, like it just crumbled in the last several years. And by 2012, it, 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 it hit its peak. And my, my crash wasn't really around 2008. It was closer to like 2010 and uh, like 2009, 2010, because I still had enough to to kind of like um, sustain the hits. Uh, but by 2010, you know, like the, you know, um, uh, the defense was worn down. And and uh, and that was, you know, from 2010 to 12, it was what I call like nonstop bleeding, just financial hits. Um, a lot of emotional hits, uh, mental unstableness. Um, I had one of my closest friends slash business partner slash writer, like a brother to me, um, passed away. And 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 that really like opened me up to um, these uh, multidimensionality realms where, um, where I just, I knew, I, I finally knew that, um, things that existed were much were beyond this 3d world that we lived in um let's just say that and then by um within a few years after that it really like spiraled and came hard you know from the um from the higher energies that came in and um and the downloads that i was getting and you know I, it was a lot of things that didn't make sense but um and it was a lot of cognitive dissonance and there was a lot of friction and, and, and really like, you know, am I going crazy um, to finally like giving up and fully surrendering and just sort of like just watching things unfold, like, okay, what's going to happen now? Like, just, just give it to me, you know? And, um, but it was beautiful things. It was, it was things that were um, really like self-empowering. I, I just didn't know how to use it at that time until around like 2015 and 16 and and then until I fully started accepting it and learning and and, and really like seeing and, and and applying you know it's all you know you you can learn all these things but it, it has to be like applied and and practice so once I started doing that um I was able to pull myself back I I, I was I was in financial shambles I lost like a, a, a couple of houses. I, I lost a lot of, a lot of money and stuff. And, and, and I actually accepted the fact that I might just have to work some, you know, regular job and which I never did had in my whole entire life. Um, and, uh, you know, cause I, I sold weed, <laughs> but, um, um, but I, 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 uh, I accepted that and, and thought that that was going to be it. Um, and but that definitely was not it because once I understood uh, manifestation and and and, and you know, the physics of quantum and um and consciousness and you know just being aligned and purpose and mission and all these things, I mean like things just things can change overnight. You, I mean you can literally like live in in a uh, you know live on your friend's couch to putting a few deals together and all of a sudden you have all the resources you need to fulfill whatever purpose you have, you know, that, that you feel in your heart that you need to do. Um, so that, that became, um, um, that came about and, and then, and then the whole, the whole Trump years is massive awakenings. I mean, like it was disruptive. It was so disruptive. It was so triggering for people, you know, the collective, um, consciousness was so wild up so you know um um just a lot of turmoil turmoil a lot of turbulence i saw it as all great things and 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 it just it just further uh solidify what i was going through personally seeing it on a collective level seeing it in my friends and people my associates and people that i work with etc cetera, etc cetera. And, and then you know and and for me during the Trump years was, I, I was never into political aspects of things. I, I didn't know who was what and this and that. Um, um, honestly, I thought, I, I looked at Trump as, um, I had a Pleiadian download that Trump was going to win, 
which I thought I was the most craziest, insane download that I've ever gotten. And uh, I've gotten a, a, quite a few of them, but it's all about consciousness and blah, blah, and just, you know, health and well-being and all these things. And then I get a download like Trump is going to win as, good, as, as, as a good sign. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like it questioned my whole everything and and um and then but in science sight it was like it was like really really um really insane that 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 actually happened um but um i looked at trump um being in hollywood la um i looked at trump like like a like a like a b rated you know reality star actor <laughs> like i was like uh like we hang around with A-listers in the clubs and <laughs> like Trump is like, uh, my 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 business partner would actually go um golfing. Um, him and his friend would actually go golfing um at, at the Trump resorts and stuff. And I'm not a I'm not a golfer. Um, so I never went. And you know, he's like, Hey, yeah, we were hanging, you know, we was hanging out with Trump. I was like, Yeah, it's no big deal. <laughs> like it was like whatever. Um, and um, but um, and it, so that's so when when I looked at because we California had Arnold Schwarzenegger as our as our governor. So I was like, all right, you know, what I mean, like, you know, it was a reality TV star, uh, 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 um, um, a movie star that became a governor. So why not? You know what I mean? Like, I just I had no, I, no idea. I didn't like him. I mean, I didn't like dislike him. I didn't you know, I didn't really care for him either. And um and then Hillary wasn't like I mean like like I didn't really care for Hillary either like definitely you know I I didn't know how evil she was at at that time 2016 I had no idea how evil she was I just knew like you know she's corrupt like every other you know DC politician or, or whatnot and stuff um but I was not into like political subject matters at all until the Trump years. And then you realize like how, how bad it really was. And, you know, the whole, the whole 17 Q movement um, and just really like understanding all that. And, and, and it was really funny because I somehow tapped into the whole Q drops right in the beginning. Like it was, it was shortly after um, or like around the, um, the, the Las Vegas shooting, which was the, at the end of 2017, and um and 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 I had no idea how significant that was to this whole thing with Mohammed bin Salman and what was going on in Saudi and how how we're very connected with with, with Saudi and all these things and um but it, yeah so anyways just just connecting all these dots just totally opened my mind up and and, and really saw the corruption and I, I I mean I went into like all the all the rabbit holes and just just digging and they're not even you know like rab conspiracy rabbit holes these these are documents cia stuff you know that's that's published on their websites and books and like all these things so by the time um um uh, by 2018 i i i was so deep into it i called everything quits i I told everybody I retired. I I I gave everything away. I had projects. I was executive producer for films and documentaries. I just walked away from everything. I signed everything off to, you know, I had like a lot of different business partners and holding companies and um over well over like a dozen, probably like about like 15 or 16 companies. I eventually walked away from everything um moved to Malibu got myself a, a little tiny spot on the beach and just meditated under a pyramid except it's on the beach every day and just you know the uh, you know from the satanic stuff to the pedophilia to the uh, 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 trafficking rings to the underground the dumbs I mean like it was just crazy crazy stuff and I was like yo I don't want nothing to do with any of this anymore I just want to really work on me. I don't want to, you know, I, I didn't trust anybody. I was like, man, I, and I'm also in the belly of the beast in, in, in Los Angeles with all this stuff. And so I just, I just got out of everything. The only thing that I kept was, um, was my, um, was my cannabis company, my original cannabis company, um, 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 that I had. And, um, and I, I don't even work on that anymore. I just, I just have like a, um, a small piece of it um now and and um and and it is still being operated 
um, by um, by uh, by my friends, by my close friends. Um, but I retired. I just completely checked out of the matrix. And so then I have time to write and I, I, I've been journaling more and more and, and, and I started writing full time and and that led me to um, I, I did most of my postings on uh, on Instagram. I had a, a decent following on on on, uh, on Instagram and um, and then um, by 2020 when 2020 hit. I um I was getting censored and shadow banned a lot and uh, and I knew that the the day that they're probably gonna kill my account is 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 coming which led me to start my blog um the uh, drew eighty six dot com and then I I started Cosmic Light Force um at right after the election the the, the stolen election and because uh, I knew like if I talked about the the, the election at that point my my uh, my account on Instagram was gonna get uh, killed, which it did shortly after that. And um, so that led me to just, you know, do everything on Cosmic Life Force. So that's pretty much it. Um, to Trump and stuff, because I think especially for people outside of America, it's hard to know what's real and what's story. So do you believe that Q is real and the White Hats are real and Trump is like working with the White Hats? Can you tell us your perspective on all of that? Um, the White Hats and, and, and Q is definitely related military operations. And it's, um, it, it is very real. There's, there's a lot of evidence that, um, that does point to it from, um, from the law of war manuals, um, continuity of, of, of government. We're going through this phase called devolution, like all, like all these things, you know, um, which is like military war laws. It's, it's, it's really complicated too. Um, but that is, that is real based on just, you know, um, talking and, and hearing different, you know, veterans and, 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 and military people. But the, the thing that, um, that I took it, cause I take everything on a, um, uh, from an energetic perspective. So you have to realize a lot of the, First of all, our U.S. vets are treated like crap. I mean, like they're they're treated so bad, you know, and 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 they're, you know, they've given themselves up for for the country, you know. They and 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 they're in bad condition, you know. They're they're on pills. Um, they're they're missing a leg. They're missing a limb. I've actually helped a lot of vets, even with cannabis, on um on um on holistic and um healing medicine and stuff because anytime a vet goes to the VA, you know, they they don't they don't really care what the symptom or what the issue is or the root cause of it. They just write them a prescription and then they get a bunch of pills. And it's it's and it's horrible. And and these guys just want to just mellow out. They got like extreme P PTSD. Um uh, they're, they're they're pretty messed up. And they're even more messed up, you know, um there's there's a lot of there's a lot of karmic debt you know um, on them they've done things you know they've seen things they've done things you know in, in in certain type of situations where it's like oh my goodness you know life or death situation all these things um, so it's it's heavy heavy um, energy and karma that some of these guys are um, holding probably a lot of these guys are holding so um, then you realize well you as a soldier realize that all of these things like like Iraq war veterans, first one, Bush senior war, uh, Iraq war, and then Bush junior Iraq wars. When you, when they realized that all this was all a psyop, you know, like if I'm a veteran and my squad, you know, some of my squads are, are dead and it's, it's like three, four of us left. And, you know, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I might be all right, but, you know, I, I live like, I live like just a regular everyday crappy life. And then, you know, and, and, and my, and I work at the grocery store or whatever, you know, and, and then my friend here, he's in a wheelchair. My other guy, he's, you know, he's all messed up in the head on drugs and whatever. He's sick. The other guy's got cancer, you know, like th these guys are messed up now. And when you realize your whole life and you, you're such a, um, you're such a good heart that you wanted to defend 
your country. You love your country so much and you're defending and you're willing to put your life on the line and put your family second and put everything, put your country first. And you do everything that you've been, you know, told to do as a good soldier to realize that it was all a lie. I mean, that is mind blowing. Like you can't imagine. And, 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 you gotta understand these these soldiers, and and I mean this in a good way, like they're killers, they're killers. They're like you know they're soldiers. You know what I mean? Like so, killing or violence is not, you know, foreign. Like you know, it might be foreign to you know a college student or this and that. You know, like but these guys are like their their heads is exploding, and my point is you have a lot of these people, generals, and realize like, oh my goodness, I've been serving this satanic force, or you know what I mean? Like uh, I've been, I, we, we, we were stealing gold and we was doing all these, we were robbing this and and we destroy, you know, Iraqi citizens, They, you know what I mean? Like the, the children would die and families and all these things. And, you know, so that kind of energy is, is built up. So now my point is you got a few, not a few, but a lot of generals, people in the military that all got together and realized this truth and was like, well, we can't go through the normal courts. We can't go through, you know, the courts in New York. We can't even go through the courts in, you know, Supreme Court even the military courts could be compromised. Everything is kind of the media, the 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 uh, um the police departments, the mayors, the politicians. Like so, so how do you how do you awaken people up, and then how do you bring these people, these evil groups, satanic pedophiles, and you know human trafficking ring operators, and all these things? How do you you know with the with the with the most resources? all the bankers, you know what I mean? Like all these things. And how do you bring them to justice? That's how Q started. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's that's the that's the basis of that. It's like, we have to do something. And it was all, and it was just not our military. It was military in all these different, um, um, different countries that all got together. It, you know, I, I, I basically call it the, the non-Satanist military. Uh, that actually believed in Jesus, actually believe in God, actually believe in, you know, they're, they're, um, they're not the anti-life, anti-human uh, 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 groups um, that knew the truth and knew that it was too crazy to just, you know, leak out to people. It was just, you know, can't just, you know, imagine back in 2013 or 14, you know, saying like, hey, o Obama's a pedophile and he rapes kids and he might be like a baby blood drinker. Like what? You know what I mean? Like it would be like crazy. Even today, it, it's, it's still very, you know. So do you think they, they hired Trump to work with them? And do you think they're in control now? Or do you think it's still playing out? it's definitely still playing out um the the war the covert war now it's you know kind of like in the open right you know what i mean like we're we're having actual war and people are knowing about it and stuff trump it's a very it's a very interesting subject matter because there's so many there's so many ways to look at trump and then and then if you add in the cosmic or quantum rabbit holes to it the time traveler <clears throat> the Tesla, you know, connections and like all that. I mean, it, it it goes it goes deep into like these these weird um, rabbit holes, and you know, like his family members and and his kids and what they're doing, and uh, which I actually do believe in in that. I believe that it's much more than just you know he's just this you know billionaire, you know type of guy that just wants to fight for truth and justice and you know and and he's and he is connected to the military one one thousand percent um um you know but the story of you know him being some you know coming from like a billionaire powerful family you know and 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 it's just like hey i'm i'm fighting for justice you know um um and and that is 
very, very much true too. Um, but I think there's a lot more to that. I, I definitely believe there's there's a lot more to that. Um, um, what and how and the details, I you know, I I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of theories, you know, um, um, to that. But you know, that's that's. But I think it will be reviewed down the line, and 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 I think um, his role right now is is continuing to 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 play his role whatever his role is he's doing it right now and he's been doing it i think he's going to continue to uh uh to do it and stuff and and this you know the recent talks is you know yeah you know they're saying like trump is from you know possibly like a masonic family and and this and that but um in order to in order to expose that you it, it has to come from the inside you're not, you know what I mean? Like nobody outside of the club is going to be able to explain what was going on inside the club. It had to be somebody from inside the club, you know? So whether he got flipped or whether he was a plant from day one or whether, you know, whatnot, you know, um, whether he was undercover, he's still undercover, whether there's multiple versions of him, clones all of that it could be all the all of the above you know um who do you think is gonna win the election this year oh that's uh that's that usually would be like a more simpler question but this year um uh, there's so much talk of not even having a, a, an election you know like we might not even come to an election um i'm sure like especially in the truth of community um uh, we've we've uh we've all heard that talk um um, so will it be a, um, you know, some sort of like, uh, emergency, um, uh, a war, you know, nuclear war breakout. And I'm not saying it's going to be a nuclear war. I'm just saying like, these are going to be the excuses, the narrative, the, um, that will be used for that, whether it's, you know, white hats or black hats, that's, that's going to initiate things. I do think that, the white hats are doing more countermeasures because they understand the playbook because everything's been written out. Even COVID was written out 40 years ago, um, maybe even longer. Um, so I think every, all the agendas are being rolled out and that cannot be stopped. So there's just countermeasures or counter operations to to do all these and, and I think that's why you know if you looked at covid like covid is a failure um a lot of these you know the the green energy climate control thing is you know er, er, like all their the new world order agendas and narratives is 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 completely falling apart and um and so I I think those are the, the countermeasures and um so if 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 we don't have an election if there's some sort of like emergency or um or like a um a blackout a cyber attack we, we don't know if if there is a regular election um and possibly which i hope it would be actually um cuz i I'm, i i am hoping for you know i i do want things to be turbulent cuz it's exciting <laughs> Uh, and, and it it causes more people to wake up, but you you don't want to hurt any more people than they're already hurt. You know, like it, the war is out, the war is real out there, and people are dying and getting hurt and stuff. So we want to have the least amount of casualties as possible. So a softest crash landing is is always the best scenario, which I believe the White Hats is is uh, is using that. Um, um, so the softest landing would be having a a um a secure paper ballot election um in November without any mishaps like like 2016. I believe 2016 they just stopped, they were able to stop, you know, or maybe hack the machines to stop them from cheating and then allow Trump to win, you know, organically. And he would win, I mean, like by a landslide, he would win organically, especially right now, even bigger than 2016, bigger than 2020 and stuff. And and because everything that they're doing, his his momentum is um is just growing and growing and growing. But I do want to say this though, um with Trump, um, and I believe with the Q movement, it's been anonymous, and that's why the the guy Falk mass 
has been such a representation of, of this movement because it is anonymous. There's never been one person that has been like leaking out. We've had a series since like 2020, a series of like truthers that got their, you know, moment of shine you know what i mean like from lynn wood and you know like like dropping all this stuff about you know the 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 pedophilia stuff and this and that and early q stuff and the kids to like simon parks was dropping you know when when um during the election time the uh the 2020 election and and you had like a whole series of other truthers that just came out and you know from you know, now SG Anon and even Dr. Jan um, that 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 is all having their time to come out and speak their truth or their intel or whatever, you know. Um, and I, I believe that is by design. Uh, so we don't just rely on one person, you know, it's is it is literally breaking the the spellbound, the 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 false, you know, idol you know, spell like, you know, just idolizing somebody and stuff. And I believe Trump will be that as well. And if Trump does eventually come out having a stain on him or um, or even Elon Musk or any, any of these guys that can potentially have a stain is because we as a collective might look up to them, you know, maybe not. I hope not, you know, but um, if that is, I believe it's just to like break that worshiping, idolizing spell that we eat. You know, we 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 love. You know, we we we've been programmed to you know, um, indulge in this hero buffet. You know what I mean? Like we love this one hero guy. You know what I mean? Like all the action movies, everything is just about like you know one he's Superman, Batman's, and you know like like all the Marvel stuff and 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 uh, and everything and. Um, well, even though Superman and, D and, and Batman is DC, anyways, <laughs> but the the hero complex we we love it, we eat it up, and it, and it's cool, you know. But now we need to flip that. We need to be sovereign, you know. We need to be like eight billion of us that is all sovereign, you know, self sufficient, self sustainable, um, and and then we don't need any heroes, you know what I mean? Like we're just supporting one another as a collective as, as as a as a species you know so can you tell us about you mentioned your downloads a couple of times and this is one of the reasons i really love your channel because i learn a lot and you share a lot of content that you know that you've picked up around the net that i you know i really learn a lot but then i also love your own writing and your own perspective on everything can you share with us where you believe you get your downloads from and what is your framework of understanding for your relationship with your guides or your higher self or however you like to understand it so yeah this this has been a um a, a topic i've been talking about a lot now um um, there's a few channelers that 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 I watch, but it's only a few, and there's a lot out there these days. And um, and I don't even call myself a channeler, you know. Like like I write, um, I don't, I you know, like it's not like, you know, I'm not like Daryl Inca, who you know Bashar. I don't know if you, you guys might know him and stuff, but he's one of the guys that I do watch. Um, Lee Carroll with with uh, with Cryon and, and and Barbara Marciniak, which she was doing it in the '80s um with uh with the Pleiadians and um and even um I don't remember their names but it was the, the three it was really one the, the the only lady but it was the three sciences that wrote the book law of one the the, the raw channeling which is all amazing stuff is so relevant and this was like in 1983 when all these things were um were happening and then and then um cryon and 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 Bashar they've been doing it I believe it was like 30 plus years now and closer to 40 years even um so these guys have been doing it for a long time and and um and um you know time time will always tell because the stuff that they're talking about you know it's it's still very relevant to this day or or, or right now you know decades ago um so and now you have like a lot of channels and I'm not knocking them you know what I mean like 
I believe that channel is opening up more and more. The veil is is becoming thinner between third density and the other densities, but um, um, or at least by in the fourth density. Uh, but in the fourth density, you have all these conscious beings, sentient beings, and and from dark to light, angels to demons to you know what I mean, like to so just neutral, um, recently passed away humans that are just kind of like wandering and figure out what their life was and you know so forth and and uh and everything. So there's a lot of you know um, unseen consciousness um, outside of the 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 outside of our realm, this third dimensional 3D world. Um, so you have to really be able to have a clear instrument, you know, like any instrument, it needs to be like tuned, you know what I mean? Like the violin got to be tuned, the strings, you know, the piano. Uh, so these, the instrument has to be tuned. And so you have to do the inner work to keep yourself clear and and and, and calm. You know, you, you can't be on pharmaceutical drugs, eating McDonald's and be like, I'm channeling. You know what I mean? Like you can, but everybody can. It, no matter what state, you can be eating McDonald's, watching TV and you know what I mean? And channel some stuff. Now, that channel might be um, distorted or manipulated and you don't know what that source could be. It could be anybody. You can be talking to anybody. It's like playing with the Ouija board, which is like, it could be anything on, on the other side, manipulating that and stuff. And most likely it it's an entity that is messing with you or, or even worse, a parasitic entity that is trying to siphon from you, siphon your life force energy and, you know, getting you to do not beneficial things for yourself. So anyways, there's, there's a whole lot of that. So you have to be connected. You have to be grounded. You have to understand who you are and 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 uh and really know and really and really know yourself and and really connected to um really connected to god the 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 mother father you know christ sophia you know mother mary energies and you know these these divine um you know god source energies you know what i mean and you know it, it doesn't matter if if it's jesus or if it's buddha or you know whatever that you know um your religious you know background could could be um um and, and that goes into another you know rabbit hole of organized religions which is also nothing but distortions and manipulations and control um but those those faith and and, and those prophets and there's a lot of truth in in um in uh in all of these religions um that you can pull from um so um and it's a it's a different version. It's a different story of the same events of these same beings, the ascended masters that are that are here to to have taught us, you know. But you know they have to come in in a resonance to a certain group of people so that can relate to them, you know. Um, um, so that's why we have all these different stories, um, you know, different songs, but it's the same. Um, it's the same um, um, moral of the story, I guess, you know? Um, so now for me, um, the channeling came in um, really after my, my um, when I was telling you, like my, my friend had passed away and stuff. And, and, um, and I wanted, cause I didn't know why he, he, he OD from heroin. And I didn't even know he did heroin, you know, like he didn't have no tracks on his arms. He wasn't a junkie. He was, you know, and he just died. And it, it, it was such a, a shock to me. And, 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 and I, I wanted to know that story. I wanted to know what happened. And I was, and I had no where to go to find out what happened. And, um, and so I, I, I found myself just talking, <laughs> talking to myself, talking to the air, talking to the ether. And that led me to synchronicities of events that led me to somebody that knew him that actually were were was a writer. It was a girl. She was a writer. They Because we all wrote 
write together and um and uh yeah he he was they was doing heroin together and um and he was shooting up through in his toes on his feet and that's why i never saw anything because you know like i say he's my brother we were at the house and you come out the bedroom out the shower with no shirt on and look fine you know but so it was it was such a shock for me anyways um from that moment on those answers got i mean those questions got answered and and then more and more questions that i had were being answered or i was being guided to to um to um i was being directed towards you know the 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 right answers and and the guides um you know we we have we do have i i truly believe this we have a team um as as a ground crew when we incarnate here to fulfill our mission and i actually just wrote up this post i think either yesterday or 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 or, or today or something like that um and it's a it's a it's a channel uh message from cryon actually um and it's about guides and when we come here, we have a um, we have a team. We have we have our guides, our higher self, our um, angels um, that we should connect to, and um, and and these guides could even be um, um, somebody that was close to you um, that passed away or passed on or transitioned, and and we still have this energetic cord that's magnetized now they're just in pure energy form and we're still energy form but we're just physical so they're still very close to us and it's quantum so they can be here and they can be i don't know a thousand different places all, all at once and and um so but they are here and um with us and um and um if we connect but it starts with belief we have to believe that this is true we have to believe that this is real because that belief alters the mental state. Altering that mental state alters this physical reality and it activates all of these, you know, things to events to happen outside of the 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 third third dimension. And uh, once you do that, you know, it, it it becomes easier. And I think in my post I talked about um it's like the field agent that's going to inside, you know, the operation. They're going to the warehouse and they they got their gun and they're about to bust in on into the bad guys. And then, but they got their comms and you know, there's there's a guy that's handling the drones, watching the perimeter, telling him where to go, what doors open, what doors not open. There's um, you know, there's a hacker person that's unlocking the doors. You know what I mean? Like, um, and then there's other support team. Um, with that, those are like your guides. <laughs> so when you go, because we are on a mission, a thousand percent, we're here on a mission. We just got to, we're here, we're here to just, you know, like completely memory erase, go through 20 years of like complete brainwashing of everything and just understanding what this realm is, this matrix realm is. And then we have to awaken, break out of this, you know, shell this nut this nut house and then remember who we are remember our mission and then fix this vessel up and get it into like you know optimal functioning condition and 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 then go execute our mission that's everybody like <laughs> yeah i feel like there's a team and it's just their job to create synchronicities and they're just there thinking What's the maddest synchronicity we can create? So she'll really get it this time. Like it's their job to just try and create the just yeah the, the craziest synchronicities for you. <laughs> the, the the synchronicity should be coming, um, should be flooding at all times now. Even even people that are not even like really awakened, um, everything should be like flooding. Now it starts with like you know like little things like um. You know, there's there's people that tell me I see two 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 all the time, or I see my birthday number all the time. You know what I mean? Like, so synchronicities are actually um, like the like the road, um, the lines on the road. You know, it, it 
it guides you or, or the road signs. It's guiding you, telling you that you're on the right path. Because if you don't get synchronicities, you're probably like off or lost a little bit. So you need you need synchronicities as a sign, like, okay, I'm doing this right. And then you see the next one, and then you see the next one. And now you should be seeing like a lot. Everybody should be, especially like the, the awakened ones should be like just bombarded with synchronicity. It's not just seeing numbers. It should be like, um, it should get greater and greater. You know, like you said, like the odds of it should be like just incredible, like incredible synchronicities, you know, um, and the odds should be like, you know, like one out of 10 that could happen. Then it becomes like one out of a thousand. Then it should be like one out of a million. And now it should be like, that's, that's like, this is like one out of like billions chances of these things happening and it's happening. So now you know that these things can happen and, and, um, and they, they have to be great. One of my, one of my turning points was, uh, for synchronicity is that I, so, you know, when you listen to YouTube or like you're watching YouTube and I might just have a, some, like a YouTube video on and I might just, you know, doze off or fall asleep or whatever. And then you wake up and there's something playing. So I woke up one time and, you know, it says like the next video is going to play and like, you know, it has like a little countdown, like a little spinner countdown, three, two, one. And then, um, and then was some, some, some girl, some girl, um, just kind of like talking. I don't even know what she was doing, but I think she was channeling. And, um, and this is around 2015, 2015. So it was pretty early in, uh, in, uh, in my days. And and then it says nine twenty eight, which was my birthday, and it was like this in in her title. So you saw you saw it on the bottom. It was on my laptop. You saw it on the bottom, and it was my birthday. So I was like, hmm, all right, let me um let me check this, let me check it out. It was my birthday, so I was like, all right. So that got me to watch the video. It was only like a few minutes long, and she did this little higher consciousness thing and talking about consciousness and um and um and it was really beautiful it was just really sweet nothing like you know major but like it was really sweet and very loving it was very really warm and and so um so I saved it I saved the link months go by <laughs> months and I'm on a road trip with my other friend and and um we're doing a road trip from California to Oregon we're checking out some dispensaries up in Oregon and my friend had just recently got an RV or back then so we're in an RV and we're doing this road trip and now we we've sort of had a very similar timeline as far as like awakening me and this guy he's also a, a, in cannabis and 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 um also does mushrooms and you know, we, we were both like, just kind of like talking about this. So I was like, we had a lot of time driving on the road. So I'm like, let me play a few of these uh, podcasts I've been listening to. So I play that for him. And he's from Texas. Actually, we just met like, well, we met a few years, a few years ago and stuff. And, and um, anyways, um, I play, I play this random YouTube video and it wasn't like, she's not popular. She literally had like at that time like l about a hundred, maybe two hundred subscribers. Totally obscure channel. The video was probably like fifty views, something like that. Whatever. It was tiny. It, it was tiny. Um, so it's not like anything major. Uh, so I play this for her. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I mean, I play this for him, and um, and I'm like, look, I, I listen to it because. I had my birthday on it, and she's talking about consciousness, and it was really cool. She's a cool little chick. Whatever play this and he's driving he's like that sounds like my my childhood friend from texas and i'm like ah whatever bro <laughs> like you know and i'm just playing it he's we're not even listening to it because we're driving and so i'm just playing the audio for for, for him and he's like no no, no no that really sounds like chloe that you know and, and i'm like ah whatever whatever and then at the end at, at, at the end i go through and look it up her name was Chloe. <laughs> I didn't even know her name. Her name was Chloe. And I'm like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I'm like, Chloe Hudson? He's like, yeah, that's my childhood friend. <laughs> and he's like from, he's like from East Texas, small town outside of Dallas. They're like, you know, country, country folk. 
And I'm like, wait, what? And the crazy thing is, he's like, I think I still have her number. So he calls her up. She didn't pick up. But she, she did call back. An hour later, she calls back. We're like in creeping up to Sac, to uh, to Sac, uh, San Francisco now. We're going up the I five from L A to San Francisco, and he's like Chloe. He's like, yeah. She tells him, I'm living in Santa Rosa, which is about an hour away from San Francisco. <laughs> and, I mean, like all of this is just like mind blowing to me. <laughs> and, like I said one out of billions of chances of, of this happening. So we end up spending the, we, we actually needed to, a place to crash the night really just for a few hours, uh, just to maybe like shower and, you know what I mean? Like use the bathroom and stuff and, and, uh, and everything. So we end up going to her place and um, we all sat around and chit chat and was like, look, my friend here was listening to your channel <laughs> listen to me and all of this just came up and and um yeah that i mean that really like changed me it was like whoa there's something there's something else and i already understood the, the pleiadians at at at, at, at this point because they came to me and and uh and everything and and so i so that was just like you know more i guess icing on the cake you know like it's just more evidence and then but from that point on it's it's been like nonstop and and it's nonstop right now like there there's so much um what what I call like the whole crystalline crystalline grid um the light grid on this planet is so magnetized right now it's so active and I, I'm, I'm doing this like you know like it's it's around <laughs> <laughs> so don't get mad at me <laughs> um but the crystalline grid right now, it's really active and it's really like the, the magnetism is strong and there's so much energy flying. Now, if you can keep yourself clear with your auric torus, your bio torus feel and keep this clear and um, undiluted with your own energy, you can totally bring in um, energy and information to you um but it will require some practice like any skill you know um and and this is definitely a skill is you know it's like um if you're learning to play a piano you might it might take you a, a while before you start playing a really beautiful song you know what i mean or if you wanted to become a a, a ballerina or, or or play basketball at a, at, at a high level you know it, it 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 takes practice it takes a lot of practice and stuff so we, we post we post a lot about um like light shows either like natural light shows like aurora borealis or like you know yeah. like unidentified Crazy. lights in the sky. What do you think? Do you think we're actually going to see beings from other dimensions with our eyes? How do you think that that works? Yes, I think that's already happening. I mean, ask anybody in the UFO community. Um, they've been, you know, screaming about this um, um, for decades now, many decades now. Um, but like every community, there's it, it, it's been infiltrated and psyop. So there's definitely military. Um, there's definitely military vehicles from many countries, um, especially the 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 big ones that have military crafts that very well could be mistaken for UFOs or light ships or whatever. Um, I just think that benevolent light beings or ships are not, um, they'll come and they'll display themselves in a very calm, um, in a very calming energy. They're not trying to disrupt us. You know, they do respect the free will uh, 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 laws the stuff that we see like you know what i mean like the you know holograms and project blue beams and you know what i mean like these things are there to do the opposite to wow people up to add stress to add confusion to add you know any of the the, the lower emotions um uh, uh states um the the light beings are more calmer they you know they're um 
they look at us almost like you know simple animals you know what i mean like if 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 you were to uh i would imagine if you were to see like a stray kitten like a little baby kitten you know that might be hungry um you would want to like maybe like you know grab it to take care of it to maybe feed it or give it some shelter if it's cold or if it's in rain or you know what i mean or give it some sort of protection but if you come at it too aggressively like you just want to come and grab it that little kitten is going to take off because it's scared you know what i mean like so they're looking at us like if they do something too too uh too drastic we're gonna freak out you know the average person is gonna be like oh my god you know what i mean and and take off like the little kitten um but and, and you have nothing but good intentions you know what i mean like so it's just different levels of consciousness and 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 uh and awareness so you have to you know so to approach the kitten you have to maybe like creep up to it speak to it and you know what i mean like warm up to it and and let that let the kitten feel your energy so it, so they know that it, it's not it's it's not threatening you know you, you know you're i'm a friend i'm just gonna yeah, you know what i mean like you're trying to be sweet to to it so um so that's how they're treating us <laughs> or humans you know like they're, they're not trying to do any drastic movements any of the drastic movements is usually like psyops and you know governments and you know what i mean or, or corporations trying to like fool people and stuff like that and then um but there are bad you know or bad aliens but those guys i believe are um are dealing with bigger issues at the moment um and um and uh those guys are not just coming down right now those guys have been here those guys have been working with our old governments and 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 leaders and you know groups and such so they're you know what happened to mammy doesn't that was a hologram I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. Now, um, I also do believe that there are creatures that do look like that. These DNA, half animal, half whatever entity, half human entities, crossbreeding, gene therapy, you know, um, DNA splicing, you know, test tube monsters, you know what I mean, that are being grown in underground laboratories and in, in, in these dumbs, you know what I mean? Like with, with other technology that is not, um, that is not like known on the surface, you know, um, I believe, um, oh, I forgot somebody, it was somebody in the military, like a whistleblower guy. He, he, he basically said that there's nothing on the surface that, they really care about like everything that they care about is underground you know what i mean like and it's it's well hidden it's protected it's you know like um so there's really nothing here which totally makes sense you know um to me it, it, it you know from from that perspective from their from the cabal's pers perspective um you know it's um so yeah so th there there are those creatures project montauks and there's plenty of evidence that suggests this um and um all, all all these like defense companies um you know um lockheed martins and all, all these things reverse engineering like all this alien technologies and and stuff like that they have they have all of that and and much more stuff that you know like like we're just finding out stuff that's they were doing four decades ago you know what i mean like like what they're doing right now and and if you look at like all the bio labs that's been funded you know the, the gain of function you know budgets and all the stuff that's in ukraine and and ukraine is you know there's there's a lot of stories and a lot of intel that ukraine has been a, a hotbed for you know these type of like biological experiments you know, not just like not just like, you know, the creation of COVID and other viruses. They're they're doing much more. There's multiple departments. It's not like, hey, we're just focusing on creating a virus. There's, you know, they have this massive facility. There's departments and the, you know, and 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 everything is com 
compartmentalize, you know, and so this guy that's working on this virus has no idea that this guy is working on this thing, using his virus to make something else. It's, 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 it is deep. <laughs> and we can't get into this without talking about the shape of the earth. My feeling now is it's, it's not even a shape. It's more just like a realm or a dimension. How do you see? I, you... I, 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 I totally agree. I totally agree with that. And I also, you know, I, I look at it from like, you know, the dimensions and timelines and stuff. And I think there is a dimension where the earth is round. And I do think that there's, and, and as, as consciousness shift, a reality shifts. So there was a time that, you know, when everybody thought the earth was round, then the earth was actually round, you know, and we had a lot of evidence that prove that can show the, the, the earth is round. And uh, but now we're realizing the consciousness is sh shifting drastically, right? You know, we we're realizing everything is lies, and NASA is completely full of lies, and so um, so now it is is becoming more of an energetic realm, you know, like, um, and it's hard to it, it's hard for anybody to really like prove things um, to be like yay or nay, and th th there's. There's tons, tons of stuff of research and and evidence and, and and questions that you know the flat Earth community asks. Very legit questions, very legit um, 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 perspectives and questions and and um, and ideas that uh, suggest um, what you know flat Earth. Um, and, and and they're legit and 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 we we need to we need to all address this but um but the answer lies in Antarctica and right now we we, we don't really have access to Antarctica you know um I actually recently posted another video of like you know the the, the SpaceX uh, um um rocket that just sh sh shot up and every time it does that you know it does, it doesn't look like the 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 Challenger the in the nineteen eighties Challenger explosion when the, the 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 rocket ship exploded. That looked like an explosion, with like you know debris and metals and and fire like that's red and you know what I mean look like a car explosion, but it's a rocket explosion. These explosions look like little fairy <laughs> dust explosions, it's like purple and blue, and it looks like the uh, the auroras. You know what I mean? Like, I explored, Tommy, but I was reading something about space ice. You know what? Where they were I don't know if it was your channel, but I was reading something about space ice, where they study the ice that they maybe is the firmament. Right, right, right. So no, no, that that's my point. It looks very much like something hitting a firmament, and it just you know explodes into this bluish, light bluish, purple gas-like explosion. There's no fire. We don't even see any debris of metal or you know an anything from the rocket. It just kind of like like some sort of like gas explosion and stuff. So it does, you know, it, it it's it's very strange and it's very funny that you know it 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 is, you know, like like the NASA rockets all had a different type of look to it. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, Elon is la launching his rockets and they all have a very different look, but similar, similar like to all the SpaceX explosions look a certain type of way. You know what I mean? Like, we land beyond Antarctica? I think we, I think we're going to, I think Antarctica, that, all the questions of Antarctica will be answered eventually. Um, I don't know when. Hopefully soon. Um, I do believe it'll be in our lifetime. I, I I do believe it'll be in our lifetime. Um and and once we discover the truth about Antarctica, I think I think that's where we can find out what what you know what exactly is our realm. And I I I I think it's much more than flat earth. Um and um, and I believe that it's much more than, you know, definitely much more than the, the lies they've told us about round earth and, you know, um, and, uh, and everything, the whole, the whole spinning six, six thousand, sixty six thousand, six hundred sixty six miles. All, all these numbers are just weird. You know what I mean? Like they're very, it's, it's too coincidental. 
and there's no coincidences you know what i mean like to to the to to the cabal favorite numbers you know what i mean like it's 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 just too weird and um so 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 that's that's not that's not sitting that's not sitting well you know um but I like but i do believe because you're saying how our bodies are torus fields and everything's micro well, macro right? well that's that's my that's what i was getting at is i do believe the first shape the first shape of the universe is a, is a sphere you know like the seed um everything you know um is is the dots it's you know it's the cell um the a pregnant woman <laughs> it's a it's a sphere you know um everything everything comes in a um you know a lot of fruits <laughs> or um or in spheres you know um so that first shape of the universe is is i do believe that's a, that's a sphere so there's everything is in a spiral you know what i mean like it's rounded is 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 moving in this circular motion this vibration atoms and, and neutrons and you know protons and electrons and stuff um um it's is moving in this spherical shape and 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 i believe on a mat on a macro we're we're vibrating in in, in this spheric shape but it is still flat somehow <laughs> Uh, something you post about a lot, which I don't really understand still, is the financial system. So how do you, do you think there's going to be a collapse of the fiat currency? And um, what do you think is going on? Do you think crypto is going to stay in the future? I think, yes. Uh, okay, so crash. Yes, I, 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 I definitely, although I'm starting to sound like the boy that cried wolf because I've been talking about like a financial crash. It's since 2020, which it did happen, but um, but we're dealing with you know Babylonian witches and wizards, and they're really good magicians, <laughs> and um, and uh, people ask me what's propping up the 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 stock market and our dollar, and 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 I tell them it's it's, it's pure magic because we still have people believing in it. So as people believe in it, it's still real when you believe in it, you know, um, um, so people are still believing in it. They're, they're still connected to the, to the financial systems and, 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 and that's what's propping up. Cause if we don't believe in it and, you know, let's just say tomorrow, uh, or, or Monday it was Monday over here, there for you already. Um, you know, everybody just pulls their money out. Uh, the whole thing collapses like that, you know, it's done, it's game over, you know, and, 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 but it will also be, not the softest crash landing it would be very disruptive and you know society would collapse and we'll be living like mad max and <laughs> you know what i mean like uh so th so so that can't happen as well so it has to be in it, you know what i call like a like a layer implosion it's just gotta one floor at a time it's just gotta implode 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 all the way till it hits the bottom and stuff which i which that is happening but um so it, it it definitely I do believe it's going to hit. Um, well, Trump did say that it's going to hit very soon, and he doesn't want to be you know president when it hits because the idea or the intel that was said is that it would fall on Biden because everything is gonna fall on Biden basically, um, or this fake Biden guy, whatever that is. Um, but um, but yes, so I, I do believe that it's gonna come um this year. And and yeah, we 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 will we will have other means of um um monetary systems, which is already being set up by by the BRICS nations um using using gold and oils and other commodities um doing doing trade and and yes the crypto will be around the 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 digital assets but uh more so the digital assets that are compliant to the ISO um 222 um um which is like the new compliancy for for crypto and and all these new financial rules and laws and protocols and um you know basel three you know what i mean like um that states that the banks have to have a certain amount of um of of requirements to to function or to operate as a business or to, to continue to operate 
um, then you have um, so the the ISO two hundred twenty two is 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 digital assets that are that are compliant, and right now we're seeing um, the corruption. You know, like like with with uh, with FTX and you know SEC and like all these things. We're 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 seeing all these all these corruptions. So which will bring about the new rules and enforcing the new rules on on how these. Um, uh, the new financial system would be um, would be uh, would be established or, or or the path to establishing the new um, financial systems, um, global financial systems, and um, and I do believe a lot of these other cryptos um, that are really really corrupt and um, um, that are used for like money laundering and and uh, um, you know just 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 bad things will will um, will will fall. But the big ones, I, I I do believe, you know, the 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 Intel rumor for the longest time is everything got to fall, everything got to crash and burn, and then from there, you know, the the real assets would would rise up and stuff, and and that would include, you know, that would include Bitcoin and Ethereum, like the big ones, falling to zero, which sounds absolutely crazy and absurd to people in the crypto market you know what i mean for them if you were to say like hey bitcoin is going to go to zero it's like they're going to laugh at you like oh you, yeah you're so like you're crazy you're just completely insane and it does sound that way but i believe it it, it is a good chance that all of this stuff crashes and but i don't think bitcoin will go away i i, I don't know I, I think that that branding of bitcoin is there you know it's it's you know, maybe, maybe not, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, that the technology, the mining of Bitcoin takes so much energy, it's slow, it's, you know what I mean, like, it's, it's, it's just outdated, it's like, you know, it's like today's Ferrari or Corvette racing against a beat up car, you know what I mean, like a 1980s Honda Civic, you know what I mean, like, there's, there's no comparison to the new digital assets today, like an XRP to, you know, this old machine, like Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Like it's this you know, it's, it's dial up versus the iPhone. It's, it's just no comparison. You know what I mean? Like it literally like XRP and Bitcoin, that's the difference between those two. But Bitcoin was the first, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, Hey, we, we, uh, um, everybody loved it and it, you know it was a place where you can store your money and and it was anonymous and it was it was anonymous they they can track you now um but it was it was a it was a big big middle finger to the government to the banking system so i totally get it i i was i was part of it i actually put a a, a lot of money into bitcoin uh, uh years ago and i i pulled everything out um at at at, at at a pretty high uh, uh, value, not as high as it is now, but um, I I still got out of it, and and uh, and and I believe that if the branding was still good, um, the whole Bitcoin can be moved onto a different technology, and that can still exist. So it could get like refurbished and put onto another network, another blockchain, uh, oh which goodness. can continue. Why did you think when she talked about the quantum financial system? Do you think that's real? Um, what's Nessa or Gessera? Yes, that's um so it starts with digital assets, transparency and 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 uh and knowing um and also backed by real assets like like precious metals and and other commodities that maybe other countries have more available, like you know the Middle Eastern countries will have oil or gas or or or, or something like that, and and um, um, so whatever you know whatever minerals and and you know anything that's valuable, um, that is a lot of that can be valued to to the rest of the world from that country, um, could be quantified into a digital asset and could be tied and traded and, and tokenized, right? Um, so so I think that's the basis of it. I believe that's phase one. And then maybe phase two, we move into a more consciousness base, you know, where, where there'll be, machines will be able to read people's consciousness the way 
we're able to read like heat signature from, you know what I mean? Like from, um, you know, that's like night vision goggles, the military youth and they can see, you know, like, hey, there's bodies over here. This is red and stuff. Like we can read heat signatures. We'll be able to read there. And I really believe this technology already exists. It's just not public yet. Um, they'll be able to read like consciousness and 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 possibly intentions and and uh, and everything. So so um it'll be it'll be um it'll be hard to do um say like it'll be hard for the bad guys to do bad things with um with this money and then and then possibly it's it's um it's some some sort of like water marking systems where like you know like the actual paper or or gold can be tracked at all times you you, you know like um so it can't be stolen or you know th things like that and and hopefully um hopefully humanity's consciousness will rise where we don't even have to enforce those mm -hmm. things anymore mm -hmm. you know like um because it's really hard you know like that's that's the problem it, you know it, it, in the 3d matrix world like like 3d problems cannot be solved by 3d solutions you know like like even when i was doing like it, you know contracts and big deals and, and 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 big money deals financial deals investment deals you know like like i tell a lot of my guys like hey um you know we can have like a multi million dollar deal here and we can have a thousand page contract to protect us from you know the person that we're doing this deal with but if that person we're doing this deal with he just has it in his mind that he's going to screw us over and do us in. He's going to do that regardless of this contract. You know what I mean? Like regardless of the consequences, whatever, it doesn't matter. That's all garbage. He's going to do that because that's the person he is, or that's, you know, that's the relationship we have with him. So that's why I tell people, even back then, I was like, you know, you gotta, you gotta work with people that you feel with, you know what I mean? Or that you're in resonance with, or that you want to work with, you know what I mean? Like I tell people all the time, like work with somebody that wants to pay you, that wants to see your best you know, like, 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 you know, that is beneficial, that wants to see you benefit and thrive. Not like, hey, uh, how much, you know, if I can squeeze two more cents out of you, even if you die, you know what I mean? I'm going to squeeze two more cents out of you. You know what I mean? Like, don't work with that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, leave that guy alone. I don't care, you know, how much money he has. And that's that guy that, you know, women, I see this, especially in LA, women will date these guys. They're like the biggest you know, scumbags or whatever, you know what I mean? Like they're just bad guys and they'll date them, you know, because they got tickets to, you know, the hottest show or they got, you know, they're, they're, they're living the, the, you know, they, they'll take them on a flight on, on their private jet or whatever, you know what I mean? But that emotional abuse and possibly physical abuse and energetic abuse. And, and, you know, he's loaded with, demons inside him and he's passing that on to you because now you guys are getting intimate with each other and it's definitely not worth a handbag <laughs> well, that, that also leads me on to my last question which is can you you often you post about the alchemic sexual misery program can you tell us about that yeah um it's it's um it's a term i'm not sure where i heard it from first but um but it's it's definitely a term that's been thrown around um, for a while. And um, yes, it's it's basically the archons is these entities that are, you know, in the fourth dimension. They can't, they're stuck in the fourth. They can manipulate the third dimension. They're stuck in the fourth. They can't go past the fourth because you need a higher energetic frequency to go past the fourth. Uh, so they're stuck within the fourth and they siphon off of, the third dimension humans basically so life force they're they're, they're basically parasites um they're the parasitic energies um and um just like the par like real parasites like biological parasites viruses and stuff like that but just parasites in your guts you know parasites in your guts that are sending signals to your brain you know that's what addiction is you know like like when you get a craving for I don't know, like cheeseburgers or a Coke or chocolate or whatever, you know, a, a donut, coffee, uh, uh, sex, shopping, 
um, whatever that vice may be, it's is is most likely parasitic, you know, microscopic parasites sending signals to your brain saying like, hey, I need this, and I'm gonna cause a whole lot of dis internal disruption inside until you feed me this, you know. Um, so so these you know these parasites are inside and then they're outside. Um, but they're and they're they're all around us and and uh and everything and and um and it you know it comes to contact um well it comes to contact if a person have a a, a weakened body vessel a weakened auric field because if there's a holes in your auric field or if you don't even have an auric field you're so weak that you don't you can't even project an auric field they'll come in and attack you and stuff or they'll come in you know it's 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 like it's like living in a bad neighborhood and and and, and you have a nice house and, and you leave all your windows and, and your doors open. Somebody's going to come in and steal something from you. You know what I mean? And Or just move in and live and squat in that building. You know what I mean? And that's what these parasites do. They just come in and, and just siphon off of us. And, um, and, um, and so you have to protect that. You have to protect yourself energetically, physically, biologically. You got to cleanse. You got to, you got to do all these things, but then they also come in sexually because that, that sacred energy exchange, you know, you're, you're transferring a lot of DNA with each other. And that DNA comes with either, um, either very powerful codes or very corrupt codes. And um and um and there's a lot of lot of energy exchange, you know, and you absorb that person's um not just DNA, you absorb that person's energy, you absorb that person's uh, you know, sometimes personality, you know, um, you know, you, uh, I mean, there's so there's tons of stories in the Matrix where like, you know, a partner is like, you know, an, an abuser, you know, uses drugs, maybe smoking cigarettes and does all this. And then he dates a chick or or a girl is is dating the, the dude. And and um and then that new person that is dating that person, that abuser takes on that personality, takes on those vices, eats what they eat. You know what I mean? Like it drags them down. It goes back to misery loves company. They just want to like, you know, it's the crabs pulling the other crabs back down in the bucket and stuff. So it just, it just generates and generates. And then like, and then we keep that, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, like you, you date somebody, you date this crazy abuser. You're like, oh, you finally got away. You know what I mean? And you're still not doing your work. You still have this toxin, these entities that's 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 in you and stuff. Maybe you're clearing a little bit. You know what I mean? Like maybe somebody goes to church. Maybe somebody does a little yoga and, you know, goes to a sound bath because a friend invited them to Malibu and he saw, you know, this thing or had a trip to Bali or something like that and was kind of like cool for like a little bit. Then they go right back into the matrix at the job or their school or the college, go to some parties, go to some clubs, meet some meet some and then this energy is inside you so now this these energies is manifesting distorted events for you in your timeline you go to the club you're meeting somebody else maybe now you might be meeting you know there's so many pattern dating you know what i mean like you you dated this one guy or this one girl then you broke up with her it was nasty it was horrible oh my gosh he's a psycho oh he's he's a, he beat me up and da da, da. and then like you know then you go do your work and, you know, you're, you're ah, I don't want to, I just want to work on myself. Three months later, you're back in the dating scene. Um, and then, and then you meet somebody else and then it was gr all great and hot in the beginning. And then it turns out to be that that person was the exact same person as the one before. And you, we go, we fall into these little time loops, these, these repetitive patterns. And it's, and it's all because of, it's, it's that same energy. You know what I mean? Like you still have the same ingredients in that fridge or in that cupboard, and you, whatever dish you're cooking up, it's the same dish because you have the same old ingredients. You know what I mean? Like that that you're cooking from until you change those ingredients, which is in ourselves to fully and to always keep it clear. You know what I mean? Like, and, and you have you know that, that's the exorcism and all that stuff is real. Like if you have demons, you you have to get it out. You got to get it out. And there's many ways to do that, you know, but sex is one of the major ways. And that's why sex was weaponized. You know, even the women's movement was 
was was a thing to just you know at the end of the day was just to get women to be more promiscuous you know like casual sex and men it does it was really easy to do it you know what i mean like women were like the you know the the yay or nay the gatekeepers <laughs> to having sex and stuff and then when you were able to like you know get women to be more promiscuous then then now we're passing on everybody now it's a cesspool it's completely there's a complete cesspool out there now you add in the vaccines and the gmo foods and, and the alcohol the spirits um the drugs the cigarettes and all these things are just brewing these are things these are all elements where like the parasites are thriving you know what i mean like you're creating a heaven for them to just thrive and you're the host and you're just rotting out energy is low, weakened immune system, manipulated decision making, um, just everything. Consciousness is low, emotions is low, lower state, low bad ingredients will always cook up bad foods. You know what I mean? Like so it's so everything is just it it just keeps the whole collective into a lower timeline because everybody's just manifesting in this timeline trap and then you build up a lot of you do a lot of you know um 3d people do a lot of messed up things you know what i mean like like the guy you know like maybe he's not even an abuser but he had like this this crazy chick and then you know what i mean like she made him crazy and stuff and then he dates another chick because he's manifesting the same pattern and then like this time he's like well i'm not gonna let her do this so you know what i mean like she she it, if she goes off and, and 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 started this shit, I might just grab her and or I might just lose it or my my entities in me is like punch this chick, you know what I mean? And now all of a sudden you done hit this girl or you might have beat up on this girl, and then you accumulate all this negative karma on you, and then you're gonna have to pay for that somehow. And so it it just it's just this timeline trap and it's it's vicious and and that's what we're breaking out of and that's what we're dissolving and leaving this old paradigm shift that's what's happening on, on a cultural level on a collective level and yeah these these entities are vicious so <laughs> got it um i i will say this to, to clear yourself start with abstinence get back to cleansing cleansing abstinence celibacy even semen retention for men um uh, women can do it too but um but more for men it, it's more effective for men uh, women there's other ways but celibacy um uh, for that prayers back to connecting with you know god and understanding your 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 divinity who you are going back to your guides connecting with your guides again detoxing physically um um you know cleansing all the all the parasites in you in, in the gut systems and in your colons and in your brain your blood doing that doing the breath work the breath flushes you know what i mean like putting new oxygen into your muscles into your bodies the cellular activations the dna activations all of that all of that just the grounding the meditation you know, um, all of that stuff, it, it, you know, it requires a lot of practice. So you just got to start doing it and that will lead you to doing it more, which will lead you to doing it as a habit. And then that habit turns into um, who you are, the new yeah. you. Yeah. So I really feel that we're in the eye of the storm. Everyone's saying 2024 is going to be a really turbulent year. What's your best advice for people to stay strong at this time that we're in yes that's stay calm calm is a superpower mm -hmm. um um stay calm um because the eye of the storm is calm you want to you want to um absorb and absorb the 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 attributes of the eye of the storm, you know what I mean? Like it's very calming, you know? Um, so you want to, you want to be calm at all times and you want to just continue to work on yourself. Remember your mission, remember who you are, you know, do the things that you know, it's, you know, um, um, from the breath work, just, just enhancing, you know, I'll, you know, when you, when you just woke newly awakened folks, you know, we've, 
we've been in this body vessel for many, many, many years, and we haven't taken care of it. It's, it's like driving a car for like 10 years, possibly 20, 30, 40 years, right? And we haven't gotten a, an oil change, a tune-up, changing the tires, changing the belts, changing the fluids. So re redo this whole body. You know, just fix it all up as best as you can. You know what I mean? And um, and start doing that. There's a lot of things you can do. You don't need no fancy machines. You don't need no fancy. You don't need a big budget. Doing the small things with the options you have available, even though they might be this much, but the options you have available, it'll get bigger. Your options will get bigger. It will expand. You know, gratitude also expands. Just be, even if you have this much, be grateful that you have this much and it'll expand to this much and then it'll, it'll just grow. A seed will turn into an oak tree, you know? So it, it will, it will expand and you will get there. Everybody will get there. That's the whole point of the, of all of this. So. I think knowing that we've already won, like knowing that on a frequency level, they've already yes. won. Really yes. Won. Yes. Yes. We're just, now it's, it's just all of our individual stories on how we won, you know what I mean? Like, even for the people that have transitioned, that was their part, you know, like, you know, even for the, the people that have transitioned because they took the vaccine or whatever the reason might be and stuff, that is that is that role that they're playing for us to see, oh, that is the proof that this was a PSYOP or this was an agenda or this was, you know, um, whatever and stuff like, and it doesn't even have to be like a vaccine. It could be like, you know, learning from somebody because they have transition, you know, and, 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 uh, and understanding why and, and, uh, and everything. So, um, so everything has, it, you know, there's, there's lessons in everything, you know, it just, it just requires, you know, a, a certain type of frequency or eyes to uh to recognize that lesson and it's better to recognize the lessons from others rather than going it through yourself especially the hard ones you know what i mean like it, you know it's the monkey see monkey do or monkey see monkey don't do you know the monkey touched a hot you know a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, pot of boiling water and he gets burned the smart monkey is like i'm not touching that <laughs> it's basic little animal instincts you know what I mean? Learn from somebody else's mistake. It's the best lesson. You know what I mean? Like we all, a lot of us, is like we don't learn unless we, you know, we have like hard lessons that we have to go through ourselves. Like why? Why? Like, you know what I mean? Like you got to learn, like, do you have to learn the hard, hard way? You know what I mean? Like that's, that's, the, that's so old paradigm, old, old programming. Like right now there's so many lessons out there to be learned. You know what I mean? Like just, just, just look at any of your friends that are still in the 3D matrix and 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 if they're crashing and burning, don't do what they're doing. <laughs> it's real, it's really it's really simple. And and then look at look at the people that are thriving right now. I mean, like despite that, just yeah, there's there's chaos. We're in a storm. It's an F5 hurricane, there's 180 mile winds and destruction, shit is falling apart, all that stuff. Um Look at the groups of people that are thriving and they are thriving right now. There's people, there's kids that are building things. There's, you know, there's, there's, there's like self-sustainable neighborhoods that's just popping up all over in the world. You know, they're building houses, they're building new technologies, they're building art galleries and doing art and they're, they're, they're coming up with new ways of farming and, you know what I mean? Like there's so much, so much great things that's going on. You know what I mean? Like they're using, you know, uh, uh, new technologies. They're, you know what I mean? Like people are building their own little um, light bulbs with, with the Tesla magnet coils that doesn't need batteries or, 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 or electricity. There, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's, there's a lot of people that are still thriving right now throwing this whole mess. You know, there's people that are manifesting, you know, um, there's, um, there's, there's people that are hanging, there's, there's old people that are hanging, that, that have hanged on to like all these assets and resources, land, property, money, and, you know, a lot of other valuables and stuff, and they're dying. Those, that grip is losing. So, 
you know, they're, they're losing titles to properties, to homes, to, you know what I mean? Like it's falling in the cracks and stuff. You know what I mean? Like you can be in a place where like all of a sudden, you know, this old guy and it's a neighbor of a neighbor and he's got this 11 acre property that's just sitting there. That's not doing anything. You know what I mean? Like you don't need to buy it. You can just go do something with it and 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 uh, and everything. They might even just give you permission to do it. Here, just take it. Just oh, I'm not, I can't. I'm I'm he's I'm like I'm 86 years old and I'm he's he's decrepit and you know what I mean. It's like oh, please do something with it. You know, like there's there's all kind of things you've got. To, manifestation happens in 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 every mysterious way you can think of, and and, and you even like you can't even think of beyond your imagine imagination you know so so just be open to that it doesn't mean like hey i need money i i i got to buy this land so i could build this house and i can have this garden if you want the garden or you want the house or you need a piece of land to do something just just manifest that just work towards that look at land go visit some stuff go go see just chase you know like what bashar says you know just do the things that excite you the most at that moment no, no matter what that those options are, you know, it could be like just four minor options. Do that. Pick the one that's most exciting. Then do the next one. And then your options will start expanding. Just like everything. Everything expands. Everything expands. <laughs> that's what we are. That's what the universe is. We just It just grows. Everything just grows. It has to. So if you want to grow and if you want to have things, then that's what abundance is. It just grows. You know what I mean? Like one sunflower, you know, leave leave one sunflower by itself and come back next spring. And it's like a feel of sunflowers, you know, like it just grows. Things just grow. It's, it, it, that's, that's, that's what happens organically and naturally. So thank if you've you, thank, that, you, thank you so much. And thank you for your channel because it really is a anchor at this time so really appreciate you must put a lot of time thank, and thank you for having it. me thank you for having me it was it's, it's real fun again and and um yeah it's it's uh it's really important to just you know just just be your your most authentic natural self you know especially at this time yeah